Melissa Benichai, everybody, come on. This is incredible. Oh, yeah. I am so Thank excited you. to be here. Happy National uh, Dessert Day. National, uh, Happy National Dessert Day to everyone. We brought you some cupcakes because I'm in. Exactly. Well, I'm very excited. I was going to say, I'm super excited to hear, not just because you brought cupcakes. Um, do you ever get tired of that, by the way, that expectation that everywhere you go, you're going to bring cupcakes with you? No. I think... People like me more. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. We had, um, not too long ago, Howard uh, Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks, and I was like, man, that poor guy, well, not literally, of course, but that poor guy, every meeting he goes to, everyone expects him to have coffee, right? Like, that's his thing. He's the Starbucks guy. So I was like, I wonder if that's something you got, like a burden you have to, like, there's worse things in the world. But everywhere you go, they're like, I'm so happy to see you. What'd you bring? I do forget sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in, I'm like, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're only human. Well, you didn't forget today, we have this beautiful uh, assortment here. It, it says AOL. It's fantastic. We're going to dip into those as a group, uh, and we can't wait. So thank you for that. But I'm also super excited that you're here because I love, love, love your story. It's so cool. Uh, reading up on you, I, it's all these peaks and valleys. You're very much like this entrepreneurial, like, superhero origin story almost. And I was wondering if you could uh, just talk to us a little bit the start of Baked by Melissa and kind of what pushed you into this and how this whole thing kicked off. Sure. So like most people, I graduated from college. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I got a job in media and then moved to advertising. I was an assistant media planner at Deutsch working on the Tylenol account. I was called to HR one day over the loudspeaker. Thought I was getting a promotion, but I got fired. <sighs> How old were you when you got fired, if you don't mind? 24. Keep that in mind. Keep going. 23 or 24. Best day of my life. Didn't know it at the time. That's incredible. Went to my brother's office crying. We always wanted to go into business together. I had been baking these tie-dye cupcakes for everyone and anyone. If I loved you and it was your birthday, I baked you tie-dye cupcakes so for like two years. So I had already been known for my tie-dye cupcakes. So he said, go home, bake your cupcakes. We'll start a business out of it. The great big brother that he is. I listened. And that same night that I was fired, I baked 250 cupcakes. I sent them into work with my best friend's little sister, who was staying with me for the summer, interning at a PR firm. The owner of the PR firm loved them, put me in touch with her caterer, started doing events with him literally like a week after being fired, took advantage of every opportunity that came our way because I had the chance to do what I love every day. And fast forward eight years, AOL Build! Well, yeah. How many times have you had to tell that story? Because you went through that like a seasoned pro, I've got to tell you. Um, Many. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. But I did want to bring it up just to give a little bit of context. There's a couple of things I want to unpack. So you said you loved uh, making these tie-dye cupcakes. When did, you, when did you start making them? How did you even arrive at the idea of a tie-dye cupcake? Because as you, you know, recently the world discovered tie-dye bagels and tie-dye everything. But you were way ahead of the curve doing tie-dye cupcakes back then. What, what, what's the origin there? So when I was working in media, my first job out of college, ugh, like terrible. The sales associate that's office was right next to my desk. We both love classic rock, Grateful Dead specifically. It was his birthday on March 1st. And I like literally that day, I'm like, what are you doing tomorrow to celebrate your birthday? He said, oh, I don't know, listening to music. So I wanted to do something special for him. I decided to make him Grateful Dead cupcakes. And they were red, white, and blue tie dye with the steal your face, peace signs, all that kind of stuff on them. That was the first batch of tie-dye cupcakes I ever made. I love that they were Grateful Dead. Um, and then over time, I just kept making them, and they got better and better and better, just like anything that you continue to do. For sure. I want to talk a little bit about, too, because your brother was the one that said, go home, bake your cupcakes, you're going to do this. So you guys uh, are sort of in this together, right? How's it like working with your brother? You guys, you've been doing this for a while now. Uh, you've got a good system down. You, you enjoy the process? You enjoy so we actually founded the company together. He yeah. was our CEO for eight wonderful years, and he just recently stepped on to 